What's up everybody, Super Crazy Am here, bringing another NBA 2K15 My Team video, guys. I believe this is the eighth seed, if I'm not mistaken, or the qualifying round. You're allowed one uh, silver player, and my silver player is, um, what the hell is his name? Busicic, or whatever the hell his damn name is. You guys know who the hell he is. For the Orlando Magic, this, um, their starting center. So yeah, man, we just came back into it, guys. Sorry I haven't put a video out, like, pretty much this whole week. Been working, been tired, man, haven't had uh, much time. Uh, you know to really um, do a commentary for you guys, so I apologize for that I'm trying to get myself back on track so I get you guys daily videos So uh, yeah, man, this is gonna be a start for uh, Monday and uh, I should have some more out definitely soon very very soon uh, Expect another one out Tuesday and uh, I want to do some more uh, pack openings So I'm trying to save up some BC and stuff like that to do a few pack openings for you guys See if we get some new gold players and you some new gold players and, um, what I really want to bring you, though, to be perfectly honest, is some more, uh, gameplay, because I've been lacking on the gameplay, and I know you guys want to see my lineup, and, uh, who I'm using, and who I have on my team, and, uh, what seed I'm in, I will say this, I have not lost one game yet in my team mode, and I'm in the fourth seed, I believe now, haven't lost one game yet, so, uh, I mean, I don't know if it's luck, or skill or whatever you want to call it but there's been a few games where I've been down by probably like 10 or more points and uh, came back to win but you guys will see games like that uh, from me usually all the time you guys all know if you guys watch my 2k14 videos that I never quit games even be down being down 18 to 20 points I always find a way to come back man and I mean you don't always win those games but you just keep fighting man and just you know hope you can get a win um, and, uh, yeah, man, but, um, I want to talk about 2K15, man, and, and some flaws the game has, and, um, you know, what needs to be fixed out of this game, uh, you know, number one thing that I would say that has to really, really be fixed with this game, to be perfectly honest with you guys, is the delay online is pretty freaking bad, I mean, like, nothing is smooth, you can't just, like, go right into your shot, when, uh, you know, you pass the ball or whatever, it's like, there's, I don't know, there's just a delay when you hit the pass button, it takes like a second or two to register, and then they pass, and then when you catch the ball, it takes a second for it to shoot, and, you know, every second counts, I mean, it, it is a, the same old thing on defense, too, um, with the delay and stuff like that, but it's more so effective, you know, it sucks on um offense, I would say more than defense, as far as uh, the the little as far as the delays go, um, but yeah, that just that's just one thing that has to be you know fixed you know really really bad in this game. Uh, another thing that I noticed, man, that's pretty rough in this game is uh, like like the paint defense. Now, like say I'm in the paint and somebody's coming in the paint, um, you know, to dunk a ball or whatever you want to call it, uh, or even go for a layup. Now I could be sitting down there waiting, uh, you know, for the guy to come. And, uh, you know, I want to just challenge the shot. But for some reason, my guy will never jump. It's like he gets caught in the animation where he's not allowed to leave the, the floor. And it's kind of annoying because at that point, you can't even put your hands up, even try to contest it. It's just one of those annoying animations. Um, I mean, I understand if that's the case when you, um, if I'm too far under the basket and can't contest. But when you're out by, like, the restricted area where the charge line is at, whatever you want to call it. You know, you should be able to freaking at least challenge the shot or jump something, put a hand up, um, you know, when you press the Y button. I'm not talking about using the stick because a lot of people are going to say, oh, just use a stick. I tried to stick too. It's the same result. I mean, even if you get a hand up, it's just a dumb animation that, that um, honestly needs to be fixed. And I think that was uh, Shane Larkin right there, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but Larkin is a beast. Um, guys need to pick him up, man. Shane Larkin is a monster. But, um... Moving on, another thing that's wrong with 2K15, man, that needs to be fixed and adjusted uh, ASAP is the technical foul glitch, the timeout glitch. Um, a lot of people do it at the end of the game if they're going to lose. They'll press timeout, um, you know, knowing they have no timeouts left, and they just do it repeatedly over and over again, and they just keep, keep getting called for um, technical fouls, and it just extends the game just ridiculously long. It's just another one of those annoying things that people do just to... You know, because they're pissed off and whatnot. So, those are just a few things, man, off the top of my head that I need to be fixing this game. Um, they adjusted. Um, I, I had um, 
keep saying I'm a lot like a fucking moron. But uh, <laughs> they fixed. What's his name? I'm trying to think now. Fucking uh, this dude that was oh Levine. This dude was dunking on everybody when the game first came out. They patched him up a little bit. I think they took his uh, ratings down, uh, his dunking, and uh, vertical, if I'm not mistaken. So, he's fixed. I played a guy when I first started uh, playing this, and he, he was literally dunking all over me with fucking Levine. And it was annoying as hell, because I'm like, damn, man, this dude's only like a 70, 72 or something like that. And he's just dunking on me like it's just not a problem at all. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? He's a, for one, he's a rookie. He's out here dunking like he's Jordan in his prime. I'm like, damn, man. And you couldn't even do nothing to even stop it, neither. I remember one game. I'm talking really fast now. I remember one game. I put uh, LeBron James on. And he was just still going by LeBron. And I'm like, what? the hell is going on and he was just dunking I mean LeBron did slow him down when I put LeBron on him but it was still freaking tough man it was still tough and annoying as hell um, but we'll move on from that whole cheese and uh, cheese fest going on and you know, whatnot but uh, if you guys haven't started my team yet I mean I know we're about pretty much like a month into the game now uh, I was supposed to make top 10 bronze sleepers and silver players and stuff. A uh, couple of players I'll just give you guys off the top of my head. I'm not going to make a video on those. Um, I'm not even sure you guys even need it anymore. Most of you guys already started my team who watch my videos, so there's, need, there's not even no need for it. But um, uh, I see some bronze players that are just beasty. I mean, you can just look at my team. Ray McCullen, he's a freaking monster in this game as a bronze player. Um, at the starting out seeds, Jimmer Fredette, lethal shooter. You guys already know that, so I mean, that's no surprise. Mirza Teletovic is another favorite, even though I can't stand Mirza in real life. Playing on my nets, he's a beast in the game uh, at these beginning stages when you first uh, start up. Uh, Evan Fournier, another beast. Um, I'm trying to think. Shane Larkin, another monster. I know I'm naming a bunch of like point guards and shooting guards and stuff. Um, Alex, Ale Alex, Alexis, a Jenga. He's a center. Nice, nice center, man. Nice center. Uh, Deadman is another good center to use as a bronze player. Um, I'm trying to think of some more players that I have, man. Are just like really good, solid uh, bronze players that you guys can use. Uh, Car what is his name? Cartier Martin. I think he's from the Pistons. Another really good um, bronze player. Um, Darius Miller's another good bronze player to use. Uh, just There's just so many like really good uh, bronze players that you guys could like choose from. I'm sure there's more and you guys figured it out on your own who to use by now. Uh, silver players, man. Jared Jack is a beast. Um, uh, Vucicic or whatever the hell his name is. They're probably killing his name. Uh, he's another good one. Uh, Codwell Pope, he's a bronze player, but he's another solid player. Um, damn, man. I'm just trying to think of all these players that, you know, you guys can use and stuff, man. Uh, as far as silver players go, Karan Butler's decent in this game. Not great, but he's not bad. Uh, Mason Plumlee's a solid uh, silver center. There's a bunch of good players, man. I could go on and on for probably days. And days with freaking players, but we won't keep doing that, man. Um, the other thing I want to touch on, man, what is going on with the Cavaliers, man? What is going on now? A lot of people are gonna panic, man, and say, Oh my god, you know, they're, they're falling apart. So, listen, man, it's the beginning of the season, and they have to grow. They just got put together, it's gonna take some time to build some chemistry and get things clicking and stuff like that. And People should not be worrying six games into the season of what the hell is going on with the Cavaliers because they will be fine and they will be in the playoffs. So people need to chill out and relax, calm down. It will be okay. They will be fine. Stop panicking. But um, they just had to gel, man. They had to click together. Uh, LeBron was being passive uh, to start out. He's going to have to be aggressive still the way he is. But um, to be honest, the people who need to sacrifice their game probably the most – it's going to be Deion Waiters and uh, probably Kyrie Irving. Kyrie's used to um, taking his shots and, you know, doing his own thing. You know, when you have a LeBron on your team, he's a, he's probably one of the best playmakers in the league. 
He's a really, really good passer. And to be honest, I'd want him orchestrating my offense over Kyrie any day of the week. But that's just my personal opinion. Um, some people will agree. Some people will disagree. But LeBron just, you know, opens up so much uh, more for, for people, uh, well, his teammates, rather, when he's on the court and when he's has the ball in his hand. So Kyrie's got to adjust to that. Uh, Deion Waiters needs to, like, to... To stop, man. Deion Waiters is just a chucker, man. He loves to shoot. And, he, you know, he has to, I don't know, he's playing more team ball, man. Stop being a ball hog. Stop worrying about your shots. And just play through the flow of the offense and the sets that you guys have and stuff like that. But they will be fine. So, uh, no worries there. Uh, I don't know what's up with the Knicks. The Knicks are just a hot mess. And I told people... This from the get-go, that the, uh, the Knicks weren't going to be anything special. People were like, oh, my God, they have Calderon and um, Dallin Bear and I don't even remember who else, man. I was just like, what the, what, what the hell is Calderon? I know Calderon hasn't played yet. But what is Calderon going to do for that team, honestly? I mean, he's probably the best point guard on their team that they're missing, but he ain't not special. He's really not. He's really not nothing special at all. So... For them to be saying that, you know, they're going to miss him, um, you know, however long it is or whatever, that's the reason why they're losing. That's not the reason why they're losing. The reason why they're losing because Melo can't seem to find his game. He's in La La Land, and uh, he, can't, he can't get it together, man. And my Nets just spiked the hell out of the Knicks the other night. And, uh, yeah, man, it was I, I couldn't watch it, you know, live, but uh watch DBR, man. It was pretty nice to watch. And, uh, you know. You see, my that's beat up on him, man. Darren Williams is looking good, man. He's uh in pretty solid shape, nonetheless. Oh, look at Jimmer right there, knocking down that three pointer. That pretty much seals the game right there. And uh, yeah, but Darren Williams looks like himself from the Utah uh, Jazz days. Um, I don't know, he's faster, more explosive. Uh, he's moving around, his agility's there. Just, just everything in general, man. He's back on track. I hope he stays like that for the whole season and can stay healthy. But Lopez just came back. He's doing okay, man. But he needs to stop playing so damn soft and like a big baby. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm back. And I'm uh, going to be making some more videos coming up this week. So be on the lookout. And uh, that's pretty much it for the most part, guys. Uh, do me a favor, man. If you like this video, like the video. If not, do what you do. Super crazy, man. I'm out. Peace. Keep talking. Yeah, we get in love in these crazy amounts. But all these haters talking shit can't keep my name out. They mouth 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 can't keep my can't 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 keep my haters talking shit.